such a good question. <laughs> um, I, I like to think that God created us because um, I don't know. I don't know why God created us. I don't know. It's a very good question. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. I really don't know. God is so good that we can't even start to understand why He created us. He gave us a world to mess with and hopefully we do the right thing. And to grow and change and somehow affect other people's lives. God created us to give us pleasure. Wow, that's a deep question. I'm not so sure why. I mean, we're His children. Why have children? Because you want them. That's what you want. God created us that He shouldn't be alone. We wanted to be created. We wanted to do things in this world and, uh, you know, maybe all the, the voidness was a little boring. A God who created everything from nothing, and what's nothing? It's, it's unimaginable. We can't even imagine nothing because we don't know nothing. So a God who created everything from nothing is in itself saying that creation is a gift, something for nothing, kindness. So our tradition, our religion tells us that there's nothing we can do for God. And every Jewish atheist knows there's nothing you can do for God. If you an observant Jew or if you keep any of the mitzvahs, then the atheists make fun of you. They say, what do you think? God cares whether you keep kosher or you keep Shabbos. Only he needs it. What difference does it make to him? Man, grow up, yeah? <laughs> we say, grow up, man. Who taught you that? <laughs> It's the Jewish people taught us that there's nothing you can do for God. Then what's it all about? There's only one thing. We say, our Father in Heaven. Did you ever hear the expression? Avinu, avarachman, avinu, avinu, malkeinu, avinu. Our Father. When you have children, what the heck do you have children for? What are you going to get out of them? You think you're going to make a profit? <laughs> you know, some people think... They have this dream they're going to get breakfast in bed from one of their kids. <laughs> well, maybe if you have ten, one will do it. <laughs> but I'll tell you, you'll get better service, much cheaper, with an English butler. <laughs> so then what do you have children for? Who needs them? Their pleasure is your pleasure. That's our concept of God. He created this world. It's a beautiful world. He created us for one purpose, and that purpose is to get pleasure. He put a lot of different people in here, so either to complement each other and to to make people, like, to make everyone better people and to, to like, have this world become a beautiful place. He wants the best for us. He wants the good for us. God also wants us to have lots of spaghetti when we really need spaghetti, and he wants us to have lots of flowers and barbecues and Grateful Dead t-shirts and all kinds of good things. God wants us to have a good time. God created us because He loves us and He wants to see us succeed and reach our full potential. That's what God wants from us. Recognition. He probably doesn't need it, but that's what He wants. You tell the purpose of something from the design. From the design, what it does. So you know there are six billion of these creatures in this world. Six billion of us. You're one of them. You got up this morning, why did you get up this morning? I'll tell you why you got up this morning. You figured you had a better chance of getting some pleasure walking around than sleeping in bed. Because if you thought that you had a better chance sleeping in bed, you'd still be hugging your pillow. We are six billion pleasure seekers. That's our job. If the Almighty knew what he was making, <laughs> then that's what he made us for. We are pleasure seekers. What do I want the most out of life? I want satisfaction. I want gratitude. I want enjoyment. I just want to be happy and healthy and my family to be happy and healthy. I want most out of life is a meaningful experience that I can be proud of. I want to really feel like I've done something worthwhile because otherwise then like life would really be meaningless. Most of all, I want to be relaxed and have fun at every moment of every day. One thing I want most out of life is to be fairly respected and honoured by people. Not too much honour, but, but enough. I want the most out of life uh, to be happy. The thing I want most out of life is pleasure. Now you can try seeking pleasure on your own, or you can find out what pleasures are really available. 
You're thinking it on your own. You can experiment and try drugs and try... If you're willing to learn about it, and especially if you come to our tradition, I mean, we've been around 3,500 years, we can tell you children and being good. There's a lot of heavy-duty pleasures. And we know there's heavy-duty pleasures. You're too young to give up on that ultimate pleasure. What is this ultimate pleasure? Every human being knows life is gorgeous. Every one of us feels it. If you ask people, go and ask them, is life gorgeous? Is it beautiful? Is it? They will say, say, what's so gorgeous about it? I don't know, but <laughs> it's gorgeous. Find out what's so gorgeous about it. There's so much pleasure to have. The Almighty is not a piker. If he's your father, he wants you to go first class, but really first class. Enjoy yourself. Get an upgrade. Life is amazing. Life is so beautiful. I was just thinking the other day that I was looking at a flower. I've never really looked at a flower before. And I was over in a flower bed, and there was all these different flowers. And every flower looked different. Every flower felt different. Every flower was another color. And I, I thought it was so amazing that they, they smelled so nice. And I was like, I was like, that is, it was really amazing to me. Life is beautiful because there are so many beautiful things in life, whether it be uh, something that's natural, something that we can see, um, something, I, I mean, you can experience all of these beauties through all of your senses. You step back and you reflect, you, everything about it is beautiful, everything, the way everything works together and everything. Life is beautiful because I'm healthy, I'm happy, and I have an amazing family and friends and I'm taking care of. Life is beautiful because we're all here in it together and uh, it's going to have a great...